There's a famous, well, some people call infamous, photo online with some of the top tech leaders in Silicon Valley today, quite literally posing as mafia members. The Silicon Valley Mafia. And this isn't all of them either. Peter Thiel says there are over 220 people in this group. With so many famous companies that consumers use every single day in the photos such as Stripe, LinkedIn, Yelp, YouTube, Plantier Technologies, and other giant investments firms such as Sequoia Capital, the spiderweb and timeline of the mafia gets rather confusing. Let's rewind the clock a bit back to the large payment processor. You might have seen online the name PayPal Mafia is floating around. It's a term that refers to a group of former PayPal executives who have become billionaires by setting up some of Silicon Valley's most crazy successful technology companies like we mentioned before. Now, PayPal was a very hard company to get into. When hiring, co-founders Peter Thiel and Match Lechkin had a very specific type of person they wanted. They weeded out any of the jocks or frat members, instead focusing on the geeks. In the beginning, the two scouted and hired from their previous college classmates and alma mater. To quote Lechkin, All of this is about self-selecting people that are just like you. He thinks like me, he's just as geeky, and he doesn't get laid very often. Great hire. We'll get along perfectly. Clearly, their hiring process worked. The team of workaholics they had assembled placed a lot of value on personal achievements within the company. With this value, they didn't enjoy having big meetings unless someone had something of actual, tangible value to add. Fast forward and PayPal was sold off to eBay in October 2002 for a shocking $1.5 billion. Not liking the corporate culture at eBay, 38 of the original 50 employees at PayPal left. The PayPal Mafia eventually became famous on November 23, 2007, in the issue of Fortune magazine, where the lives of the individual mafioso were covered, or more accurately, uncovered and thoroughly analyzed. Here's a quick breakdown of exactly how powerful some of these men are, their achievements, and some examples of businesses they created or adopted. Peter Thiel Peter Thiel is a co-founder and CEO of PayPal, as well as a former lawyer and vice president in the past. He earned a whopping $55 million from his 3.7 stake in the eBay deal, which he used to launch his hedge fund, Clarium Capital. On top of this short but incredible resume, Peter was the first outside investor in Facebook. Thiel's decision to invest $500,000 in Facebook proved to be amazing. His investment made him an instant billionaire. Elon Musk. Now, you might have noticed one of the world's most wealthy men actually wasn't in the original photo. Musk happened to have a scheduling conflict and couldn't be a part of the shoot. Famous for his financial services and email payment firm X.com, Musk merged it with PayPal back in 1999 to become the largest stakeholder at 11.72% in the new company after it was sold to eBay. He earned 175 to 180 million dollars from the sale. Musk, who has achieved several successes since then, including the world's first electric sports car that could travel up to 248 miles on a single charge, and a rocket built by his private aerospace company that carry humans into space, is worth around 250 billion, although his numbers fluctuate quite a lot depending on his businesses and investment portfolio. Ken Howery Co-founder Ken Howery, who served as the company's CFO, left to become an investment partner at Foundations Fund, a San Francisco-based venture capital firm. His estimated net worth is around $1.5 billion. In 2019, Donald Trump appointed him to be U.S. Ambassador to Sweden. Luke Nozek One of the co-founders of PayPal alongside Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, and Ken Howery, Luke Nozek left the company to travel the world before joining his fellow co-founders, Teal and Ken, at Founders Fund. His estimated net worth is around $1.2 billion. Reed Hoffman Hoffman, who had previously served on the company's board of directors, became the company's chief executive officer right after eBay bought the company. In December of 2002, he founded LinkedIn and owned 53% of the voting shares in the company. His current net worth is around $2.1 billion. Jawad Karim Karim, after creating the first version of PayPal's anti-fraud system, just casually founded YouTube.com along with Chad Hurley and Stephen Chen. They later sold it to Google for $1.6 billion in November of 2006.
Kareem, along with other business partners, launched University Ventures in 2008, a business designed to help students and graduates develop business ideas. Kareem's net worth is estimated to be around $140 million. Max Lechkin, co-founder and chief technology of the firm after PayPal, he founded Slide, and in 2010, he sold it to Google for around $184 million. While working on Slide, he was engaged in setting up Yelp, a business review site. Other like-minded members of the PayPal Mafia include Keith Raybos, David Sachs, Primal Shah, Andrew Cormack, Jeremy Stoppelman, Russell Simmons, Dave McClure, Stephen Chen, Chad Hurley, and all of these people had their own success in business. Altogether, the Silicon Valley Mafia, who from the start had intentions of supporting each other, have a combined net worth of over $310 billion and counting. The PayPal alumni collectively form one of the most successful networks of entrepreneurs. The Mafia is an example of talented and creative people at their best who, with a mix of luck and skill, have achieved great success. So, what are your thoughts on the Silicon Valley Mafia? Billionaires tend to be a great topic of controversy, often being debated if they should be even allowed to owe that much money. Regardless, post your thoughts below in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.